Today I want to do a review of the DO9100 Dissolved Oxygen Analyzer Meter. Uh, this is a uh, pretty nice little meter here. It's a pin type meter. Uh, it comes with an instruction manual and in the back of the instruction manual there's going to be a temperature chart for you to adjust the um, uh, adjust the dissolved oxygen to the temperature of the liquid you're measuring. So I have it over here right now, and it is sitting because it takes a little bit to uh, measure the temperature. Right now, this one, and this is just tap water, is sitting at about 7.6 milligrams per liter. Now I can change modes here, so it's you know 84.5, uh, 8.0 milligrams per liter. Um, uh, 84.4, so it hasn't stabilized yet, it's been sitting for a couple minutes, it does take some time, uh, and that will tell you the amount of oxygen in this liquid. Now over here, I have boiled water, so we'll measure that here in a second, so let's, it's going down from 83.9% or 7.9, and I have not calibrated this at all, so uh, I'm going to switch that over just so we can see that working here right out of the package without calibration. Now the instructions do tell you to calibrate it so uh, you know if there's something that you know more than I do where it needs to be calibrated every time uh, we will get to that. Now this is straight out of the package. There are batteries included. They are stored in this top case and I'm not going to take that out because we are doing that but it takes three little uh, like watch batteries. They're the uh, thicker like pin type watch batteries and this just slides on it comes in like a bubble wrap package and stuff and this just slides on and clips into place so while this is reading here I'm going to go, I'm going to go over with what what else this actually has in it so uh, you have these caps and these caps include a membrane um, so you can see on the front here, this one appears damaged, but this is actually the cap that came on it. I think this was just an extra, uh, but uh, all of the other ones are flat. This one is like, um, has kind of a concave to it. So I think this is just for uh, protecting it during transport, but uh, all the other caps come in little plastic baggies. It does say to be careful not to press on the membrane. That's where the oxygen is going to transfuse through. Um, but there are six of them that come in this pack. Now these aren't single-use items according to the instructions here. Uh, they are usable multiple times. The oxygen will go through the membrane into the solution, which it also includes. This is an electrolyte solution. Uh, I would guess that you can order more of these for this pen. It seems pretty well made. Um, it does say DO9100 electrolyte solution on it, so I assume it's specific to this pen, so make sure to order the right one here. Um, and that will just go on the end of the uh, membrane here. Now this was boiled yesterday or the day before, um, but you can see that the oxygen has gone down and it, uh, I am down to 7.5 milligrams per liter, or 81%. I believe this was like 83% or something like that. So it is going down once I put it in the boiled water, which is exactly what I would expect, because boiled water holds less oxygen than normal cold water does. The colder the water, the more gas it can hold. Um, so I'm going to be trying this out for brewing and everything, but initially this is looking like it is uh, measuring at least directionally properly, so this has less oxygen than this does. Uh, but I haven't done a really detailed uh, sample of it yet to make sure it's uh, truly measuring accurately. Uh, additionally, you want to look and let me hit a button here to switch it. So you'll want to look at the bottom here because it does measure the temperature of the liquid it's measuring. And on the back of the booklet here, it does have a conversion table. Uh, so you will need to uh, convert the actual measurements of the different liquids here. And I think these are at different temperatures. 
Well, this one's at 66.2, which has stabilized, although this is still going down. I'm going to move it over to the other one and see if it's the same temperature here. Um, no, it's already getting colder. So this was tap water. This tap water is colder. So this actually probably has more oxygen in it, and this one has less, which is really what we expected here. Um, so overall, it does seem to be working pretty well. It's a nice compact design. This comes out. It has replaceable batteries. It has a bunch of extra filters. Uh, everything stores in the box you got it in, nice and easy. Uh, it's clearly labeled and everything. It's got all the parameters on and everything on the back here. I'm gonna put that in so you can see that a little bit more in case you need any of that information when you're buying it. And uh, overall, I think it's a pretty nice device. It is backlit too, so you know if you need to read it in the dark or something like that, or the light's not great, you know, you can do that as well. So uh, overall, looks pretty decent. Um, you know, it, especially at, at the price point, this thing looks like it's going to perform very, very well. So hopefully this video review was helpful, and thanks for watching.